What is up YouTube? Drew with Queen City Constrictors. It is time to show off a few more really cool animals. Uh, I wanted to do an update that was not so much on ball pythons, even though we might show a couple, I'm not sure yet, but I wanted to show some different species of some recent pickups and uh, some old ones, but good ones. So first thing I want to pull out is this awesome Brazilian rainbow boa, which we got from Ike Leitner in 2015. This girl's heavy. I'm trying to do all this one-handed. So let's go ahead and pull her out here. This girl is just absolutely gorgeous. You can see that rainbow popping through on there. She's just getting monstrous now. Let's see if we can get some of this sphagnum moss off of her. I shouldn't have done this one-handed. <laughs> um, so we will pop her in there real quick. Try and keep her in focus. Um, this way we can get a good view of her. I can at least put her hide box back in. Um, while we're on the topic of Brazilians, uh, real basic setup we got for We got a, a humid, humidity hide box here. Or a hide box with a lot of humidity. We got sphagnum moss in there. Um, stuff's not terribly expensive, but keep a water dish and just a little cage decoration over there. And then of course Beretta. So let's see if we can pull her out a little more. She is probably just under six feet now and just absolutely smoking. I love this girl. Um, definitely planning on breeding her in the coming years, but we're going to have to, of course, get a mate for her, which <laughs> will be showing off a little something here shortly. Of course, she's wanting to take off. Um, let's see. There's a good shot of all over. And I really wish cameras could do the justice on picking up rainbow colors, but, or just the Brazilians in general. Um, if anybody follows the Instagram or Facebook page for Queen City Constrictors, um, there's plenty of good pictures I've gotten on there. Yeah, you can really see some of that iridescence popping through over here. Um, but yeah, she's just a really sweet snake pull her out regularly. Of course, she's a fan favorite. <laughs> Camera work is crazy. I'm sorry. Um, really trying to pull her out to get a good, good view. All right. She's going to want to be difficult, so we're just going to leave her. Um, there's Beretta. Try and put some of this back for her. So I've got her in a... I did another video on this cage specifically, but this is a 4x2 Reptile Basics enclosure. It does a great job with holding heat, humidity, and um, yeah, I mean, I can't say enough good things about the cage, but... If y'all are wanting quality Brazilians, you definitely want to check out Ike Leitner. This guy is the man. Ike's Exotics and Aquatics. That's the guy for it. Um, he just, I mean, you can see this girl produces absolutely top-notch quality animals. So, that's that girl. Let's move on to a few other things here. So, a couple recent pickups. Also from Ike. You can imagine what this might be. Of course, this guy's in shed. So this is obviously not going to do justice on his true colors since he's in shed. He's now had two meals with me. Um, but even in shed, you can see the quality of this guy. Super nice. Really clean. I'll have to do another video when he's actually out of shed so you can see the true colors. Um, I'm just, I'm in love with these Brazilians. Really clean animals. That's a good looking male. It's a high red male. Um, this is, hopefully in a couple years, 
what will be paired up with Beretta so we can produce our own Brazilians. I'll always maintain a relationship with Ike though because he uh, he's just the man for it. He's always producing really nice animals and um, I'm sure he'll be working on things that I just don't have in my collection yet. Um, so I just I, I won't be able to sing enough praises to that guy for producing the stuff that he does. But this is uh, that's Pablo. So just a little baby Brazilian. Really nice quality animal. Um, so that's that guy. Definitely have to do an update on him once he sheds, just to give a better idea of his true colors. But you can definitely see from that little glimpse. And then one I was super excited about the little hypo girl. Hypo Brazilian rainbow boas incredible animals um, I mean these things just really have some awesome colors and she'll of course get brighter with with her uh, age and size and she is I believe also in shed of course um, <laughs> probably should have checked on these before I actually decided to shoot the video but here we are you definitely get the idea of just how awesome these animals are uh as soon as i opened the box <clears throat> for mike i was blown away i seen pictures but really videos and pictures can't do brazilians justice like i said before you just gotta see them in person um you can tell quality animals for sure from pictures and videos but you really can't get the full justice of that animal just from video but really excited about this hypo girl um, I love high colored Brazilians, but something about the hypo gene in this specifically, <clears throat> um, when they get big, it's just so cool seeing that faded out, washed out pattern, uh, in color. Love the hypo stuff. So that's that little girl. Uh, also Ike's Exotics and Aquatics. Um, y'all definitely need to head over to his page. Um, Ike Leitner on Facebook, Ike's Exotics and Aquatics on Facebook. Um, he runs an Instagram page, I do believe. That should be Ike's Exotics and Aquatics as well. Um, so sh go over and show him some love. If you're in the market for Brazilians, definitely the guy to go to. The animals should speak for themselves. So, as always, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Check us out at Queen City Constrictors uh, on Facebook. That's Queen City Constrictors 704. Um, I'm doing a little bit on Instagram now. It's not a dedicated Instagram for Queen City Constrictors specifically, but that's the Shark 517. You can find plenty of snake things there. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good night.